today is Thursday, April 30th, 2020. The weather today will probably will be sunny and cold. Now to Mrs. Cook and Earth Waters. <laughs> Good morning, heroes. Today, your live special area classes or information center or guidance. If you are in first grade, third grade, or fifth grade, you'll be joining Miss Mellon for a live information center lesson. If you are in kindergarten, second, or fourth grades, you'll be joining me for your live guidance lesson. So be sure to check into our Google Classrooms for those times and login codes. Now today, rather than having Thoughtful Thursday, we are going to celebrate our final day of Month of the Military Child and our last Purple Up Day. We have two videos to share with you today. The first comes from Miss Mellon. Miss Mellon has a special guest reading a story about courage, which is our character trait this month, and also is very fitting for all of our military children and the courage you all display each and every day. Let's take a look. Have Courage by Sherry J. Miners, illustrated by Elizabeth Allen. Even though I'm small, I can stand tall and feel good about myself. I show courage when I do what I think is right, even when it's hard or I feel afraid. It takes courage to say yes to some things. I try to listen to people I trust. If a person dares me to do something that could hurt someone, it may take courage not to do it. I can dare to say no. I can dare to think for myself and do what I think is best. I feel brave when I speak up for myself and say what I want. I don't mind if I stand out. I can dare just to be myself. I can be brave and choose to do something hard because I believe it will be worth it. When I take a risk and I talk to a child I don't know, I might make a friend. I might even help someone else feel brave. When I believe in myself, I think more about what I want than what I'm afraid of. If, if I had the courage to try something new, I may start a fun adventure. I'm glad I know people who can help me. If something seems safe, I can just be brave and do it. To me, courage is about important things that I didn't know I could do. Being brave can help me in everything. It pushes me to make good things happen. When I have the courage to do what I believe in, I can make a difference, and I can feel the difference in me. The end. You can all have courage. Thank you, Mrs. Mellon, and your special guest reader for that story on courage. And now our final video and final celebration of Month of the Military Child is a special reading of the poem, Pride and Honor. It is a tribute to all of our military children and features some of our hero's family. Let's watch. Remarkable is this journey as far as I see. Made in America, yes, that is me. Son of a patriot. 
family to be. The devotion, the strength, the fabric worn free. My life has been quite different and that I would not trade. New friends around the world, what a blessing our family's lives have made. So many sights and joys over the years I recall. The colors of glory mold the ideals that make me stand tall. I have been watching you closely and the full measure you give. The devotion and courage to safeguard the freedom we live. You carry my picture to a place where rug boots go. And I keep you very close to my heart. I hope you always know. So many lessons I have learned. So many heroes I have met. The sacrifice and honor are visions I will never forget. Whether you are here or you are far. Our freedom the future is where I know you are. I never need to ask you why because I already know. The reason is I am part of something far bigger, you see. I'm a military child. That's me. And me. Like me. Like me. Me too. And like me. Pride and Honor by Mitchell Atkins, a military kid like me. I can't think of a better way to end our month of the military child celebrations. Thank you so much, Mrs. Nassar, for coordinating that video and putting it all together. It was beautiful and incredibly special. And now to today's joke of the day. Hey, are you ready to laugh? Here's the joke of the day. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? I, I don't, don't know. know. Because then it'll be a foot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end with the hero's purpose. At heroes, our heads solve problems and are always learning. Our hearts are respectful and considerate, and our hands work together for the good of all. Make it an excellent Eagle Day.